broader goal was to get a lot of investment in our projects from companies within India and from outside India. For that, we realized that it is very important for us to de-risk our project, to lower the risks to uncertainties, to make the project viable, to make the project bankable. For this, we took a conscious effort to mitigate the risk, to lower the risk, and to have a better apportionment of risk uncertainties amongst the various stakeholders. How did we accomplish this? The primary thing was that we listened to everyone. We listened to our bidders. We took our pre-bid meeting seriously. Every query that was raised in our pre-bid meeting, we answered it. And the basic philosophy was that we should accept a request unless there is a strong reason for us not to be able to do that. We listened not only to our bidders, we also talked to the bankers of our bidders. We tried to understand from them why they thought our project was not bankable enough. And then we tried to address those issues which challenged the bankability of our project. So these requests, these concerns, the learnings that we had from our bidders, from our the bankers of our bidders, that went a long way in ensuring the bankability of our project, in making sure that our projects were robust, they had a good project structuring, the risks were lowered, the uncertainties were lowered, and uh, the developers, their bankers felt confident in investing their money in our projects. de-risk the project, there are certain elements which have to do with the nature of renewable energy, with the technology of renewable energy, and they are secular to which country or which continent you are working on. So the projects should take care of the nature, the inherent nature of renewable energy. Then there are commercial terms, that if certain commercial uh, terms are taken care of, that would make sure that the project is de-risked. And then, of course, there is the issue of payment security, which is the fundamental, the basic core of, uh, uh, of whatever we are talking about. The returns of the investment are assured, then there is a very good chance that there is an expectation of lower return on the investment. If we don't take care to address the risk, then only those companies and those organizations would come in who seek a very high return for investment and who are looking for risky projects to get high returns. But if we want the money to flow from pension funds, from sovereign funds, then we need those funds which are okay with a lower rate of return, but they want assured returns. So the basic challenge, whether it's a project implemented by a federal company in India or by a state or by a country in uh, Asia, Africa, Latin America, anywhere, the basic issues remain the same. They should address the basic nature of renewable energy. It should respect the technology, how renewable energy flows. It should address commercial concerns and it should address the commercial risk, the issue of payment security.